Hey guys, welcome back to the fish room. It's me, Khan from Amazonian Angelfish. Today, I have a very special gift from you guys to me. And uh, I just want to showcase um, what I have here. And I know that this video is going to be a long one, but it's just me rambling on about these fishes and how crazy I am about having these new fishes in the fish room. So, without further ado, join me on my journey here as we go and get my fish. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. Uh, I'm going to give a free giveaway once we hit that 1000 mark for the subscribers. Alright guys, I got our package and we're going to be going back to the car, back into the fish room here. Alright guys, so I got our package here and I'm just going to go ahead and open it up right now using my boned knife. Alright, here we go. Here is the package. Oh man. Instructions when receiving fish. They want us to do a drip acclimation. Alright guys, so this is the package right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that right up. Alright. Let's get this package open. So I got this part and it smells kind of like ramen noodles. I think it might be the heat pack or something. I'm gonna get this here. All right, guys, are you guys ready? Let's see what it is. Oh my God, dude. Look at these two. <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, look at that color. Wow, they're alive and doing very well. All right, so I got my drip acclimation going on here. And uh, them two are inside of these two buckets. Damn, look at how red he is, dude. And the other one, oh my god, that's just crazy. That is just insane, y'all. Alright, so these two has been acclimating for a while here, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch them, net them, and put them in their new tank up here. As you guys know, I've always been a fan of Tetra brand, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use the Tetra color here first just to see how the fish would react to the feeding. This is the first time me feeding them, so um, they probably won't take any of this because it's not they're not used to it yet. All right, so straight out of the box, this is how the granules look like. It's very, very small, very teeny tiny, but it is very red. It looks just as red as the fish do. <laughs> so hopefully this will maintain the color or these guys right here and uh, this hopefully this girl maintains her color I think this is the female um, I think the, the sunset is the female I think the koi is the male so could be wrong but we'll see what happens gonna go ahead and just drop a little bit of it into the tank here they do seem to notice it right away so we'll see if they do take to the food oh she ate it and he's spinning back out. Oh no, she's not spinning it back out. So that's great. I'm just feeding very, very little first. But she is taking the food very well. There is no lighting on this tank right here, so it is just natural sunlight. And what you guys see here is just the reflecting light from my shop light in the back here. It seems like she's tasting the food a little bit. The male is not eating the food that much. These guys are getting more comfortable in the tank here and they are starting to pick up some more of those fish food left at the bottom of the tank there. So yeah, they're doing pretty well. The female's definitely eating. Um, I'm not sure if other people do it differently than me, but usually they keep the fish, like they don't feed the fish. Dang, that female's going at the other fishes over there too. Like, look at those two, they're like flaring off at each other. <laughs> yeah, like usually healthy fish for me 
Um, I don't know about others, but what, this works for me. I do feed them right away after uh, getting them just because they've been starved for two days already and I don't want to continue starving them. And uh, to me, a weak fish generally um, means disaster for me. So um, when I ship fish, I starve my fish for two days and not feeding them in the next day or so is just total hunger and it's, to me it just spells disaster. It's a recipe for disaster and um, I do feed them right away but I feed them in very small amounts. I think of it that they're just like human beings, you know. If I starve myself for two days, I'm going to be super hungry and if I don't eat, I'm probably going to feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> so I would want to eat right away but um, in control fashion. I do not want to eat too much at the same time so just giving them a little bit of food and uh, that way it doesn't cause indigestion for these guys. That's what I do. Other breeders, other keepers, they do it differently. Um, it's just what I do and it worked for me so it might work for you. Just a suggestion so you don't have to do it yourself. I threw on some lights and I was like damn those colors are popping dude. Oh my god, they look so gorgeous with the lights on. I'm like, dude, that is legit, bro. Like, dude. <laughs> and uh, I did have uh, one of my friends come over and uh, she picked up some of the fishes from me. And uh, she asked me, what do I think about Angels Plus? Well, I think their fishes are top notch. They are the best of the best and being a breeder i would also want the best of the best as well and these two right here are the best of the best <laughs> for, as far as what i've seen so far and you know i just want to move forward with breeding and you really do want the best of the best and to have koi that has this deep coloration of red and to have that good of finage is awesome. Dude, like, I try so hard to breed angel fishes with straight fins, and I have a lot, a lot of issues with that. And for Angels Plus to have a very good, strong bloodline that has very nice straight finages, and to on top of that, like the color is just like icing on the cake. Steve Rubicki is the founder, he is the father of the Kois and without him we would not be having Kois in this angelfish society, in this angelfish world. He is the one that developed these Kois and to get fish directly from him, like a lot of people in the world doesn't have this opportunity and I live in the United States, he lives in the United States. Why wouldn't I take this opportunity to get fishes from Steve? You know, it's, it's a great opportunity that only a small handful of us has the opportunity to do so and to record it and to get my hands on these guys and to share it with you guys through the internet, through YouTube is something, this the least that I can do for you guys, for what you guys have done for me, you know, being my subscribers and following me on Facebook and purchasing my fish, allowing me to use my money that I get from selling my fish to get these guys it truly means a lot to me and I truly do appreciate everything that you guys do for me and my channels so thank you guys on a level of normal fish keeper um, I think it is a little bit high in terms of pricing however if you think of it from the breeders perspective I think these fishes are properly priced because you know to have that great of a finish and to have that great of a coloration on them it's really really hard to achieve that and especially in the marbles like the red it doesn't always come out like that 100% for every batch that you have and knowing that I know that in the future when I do breed these guys I'm not gonna have 100% of these babies to turn out looking like the parents you know they're gonna have some that has very little red coloration while some have a lot of red coloration. You also have to consider the amount of time that you put into raising these fishes up because a lot of things can go wrong in the duration that you raise them up to breeder size. And uh, you know, the fish might die, they might get sick, they might jump out of the tank. 
um, their fins might get messed up along the way. You know, a lot of things occur in the duration of one entire year for them to grow up from little hatchling smaller than the size of a droplet of water to full adult size and that time to raise them from an egg all the way to an adult stage and to have good quality angelfish available to the public it definitely does say a lot about the breeder and their dedication towards the hobby they love what they do and that's the reason why they are able to provide these kind of fishes for us. These fish are properly priced for what they are. A beginner Aquarius cannot start off with these fish for sure 100% for someone to put in so much time, effort and dedication towards raising these fish up all the way to adult size for one entire year. A beginner cannot just go ahead and use $500 for these for a pair of fish like yes anyone can just go ahead and buy fishes anyone can use money the way that they want to do it's there's no rules or anything like that and for the reason that these fish are priced like this I feel like it's more for the advanced breeders and not for the beginner aquarist I'm not talking down on anybody myself included it's I've been always wanting these fishes for such a long time and I've been holding myself back um, for such a long time and you know I can just go ahead and use 500 bucks buy a pair and just do whatever I need to do with it but that's not the case in this case I want to make sure I hone my skill my breeding skill definitely does take some time learning a lot of things and it definitely does take some time to um, reach the level that you want to be at reach the level of dedication care and you know put forth everything that you have towards raising these angelfishes and breeding them at the same time so definitely these angelfishes are not for the beginner aquarius putting down five hundred dollars is a lot of money for you and if somehow something happens and if you're just still learning things it's kind of hard for you to just lose five hundred dollars if some if something went wrong and these fish don't survive the next step for me is to move up the ladder and uh, you know get fishes that are more challenging to breed are more in demanding to care of so that's where I'm at right now and uh, hopefully these guys do survive for me like I said I'm just another person I'm just like you I do a lot of experiments on my fishes and a lot of dedication towards them make sure that they are healthy and everything so this is at the level at that I am at right now the thing is you can't produce that much you know you can't produce that much and it's all about supply and demand and the supply that you can produce of these guys you just can't supply enough so there's very high demand so there is a reason for these guys to be priced at the price that they are priced at and also Steve does this for a living you guys have to understand that this is one of his main income and uh, to buy fishes from him is really to support um, him and to support uh, you know everything that he does for the hobby like if he doesn't do this for us like who is gonna do this for us you know if Steve doesn't improve his line and if Steve just you know drops everything kind of like the mellow line you know the mellow line it was dropped many many years ago and if breeders don't continue keeping the mellow line pure then we would not have that mellow line of the koi's as well so thank you steve thank you so much for supplying us with the koi's that you do here and uh, only a very handful of the people around the world have very good quality koi's like this that you provide for us and i thank you for always teaching every one of us even me the little tips and tricks of the aquarium hobby how to keep angelfish alive and how to breed angelfishes so steve thank you for your tips i know you you are one of the main admins of the angelfish group out there on facebook and you always put out very valuable information out there so thank you steve so much for everything that you have done for the hobby without you this hobby will not be as enjoyable as it is for those of you guys that are interested in his koi's go ahead and check them out on steve's website angels plus the folks that are in the united states if you guys do want the best of the best koi's 
it's very good to start off with a pair. Now, just because I have a pair doesn't mean that they will spawn for me. I have heard from past breeders that these fishes are very hard to breed because they, they require water that are at lower pH. Now, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and my source of water is Lake Michigan, and that is a really, really hard water, pH of 7.8 to 8.0. And uh, we'll see if these two breed for me, you know. The moment I saw these two fishes posted on uh, Angels Plus's uh, Facebook, I'm like, dude, I gotta get them. I gotta get them. I love koi's without the black on their body. And uh, the sunsets is such a gorgeous fish. I asked Steve and he said that they are, they share the same lineage. Um, they share the same bloodline lineage. However, they are not closely related. So at some point he crossed his koi with another fish that has the gold gene in them. And uh, t that allows him to create sunset koi's. And man, it is absolutely stunning. Like. Normally, Steve would just sell his koi just as regular koi with a double dose gold marble. But this is the first time I've seen, um, I might have missed in the past, but this is the first time I've seen that he offered a sunset of this caliber, like with this amount of red in the fish for sale. So when I saw it, I instantly I'm like, dude, <laughs> I gotta get them. You know, they're so beautiful. And my goal is to create koi's that has very nice finishes, that has absolutely zero blacks on them. Like an all red angelfish or all brightly colored orange angelfish like this one. I think this pair is really good because it not just has double dose gold marble gene, but it also has the double dose gold gene that I am able to work with and uh, by doing so I can continue doing what Steve is doing and that is to create koi or uh, sunset koi's that doesn't have any of the black markings on the body and if I breed these two together I can selectively select the ones that has the best coloration of the sunsets in the future generation to move on forward with uh, the koi's so it's a continuation of what Steve has been working on also at the same time if at any time I want to work with the koi alone I could pair him up with another female or if I want to work with only the sunset which has the gold gene I can pair her up with any of the male of my liking in my fish room here and that way I have both genes to work with and not just one gene um, in the past, Steve only offers the koi that has the double dose for gold marble only. Uh, the, those pairs available for sale. And um, that means that I lose out the opportunity to have koi that has double dose gold for the sunsets. So th I think this is a really nice pair. I don't want either of the pair to look alike. I don't care for that. I just care for the genetic makeups of it like what kind of genes they have so for me this is more valuable than getting a pair that Steve has for offer that has double dose gold marble that looks like the male. Alright guys so my plan for the future here is to breed this guy with one of my silvers or one of the fish that I have that has the widest fin and I want to create koi's um, that has the very wide fins and although these guys are very straight fins they don't have the wide fins and uh, I want to create koi that has the very nice wide fins I can see a little bit of the branchings in this fins so these guys do have a little bit of the wide fin but it's not as wide as I want so like I'm gonna go back to my philosophy just to work on the fins color will come later and um, in the future, I plan to breed this one with one of my albino ones to create albino koi's. And I have a few of those. It was some I produced myself and one or two of them from Craig Oliver. So I might combine these guys after their initial couple breedings or so just so that I have my hands on a few more of these 
toys to work with first before focusing on other kind of projects that I have. So my priority right now is to breed these two right here so that I have more to work with at hand and also to distribute these guys to you guys because ultimately you guys are my main supporter of my hobby here and if I was to breed these and not have these guys available what's the point you know this world is too small this life is too short to have all these beautiful fishes not be shared throughout the entire world another project that I have is to breed these with uh, Bulgarians I've never ever seen koi Bulgarians before. I know that some breeders out there are in the process of creating the koi Bulgarian and uh, I'm gonna be one of them. I have a very good selection of Bulgarians to choose from that does not have the black gene, they're just straight up Bulgarian. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and breed it with these as well. So in the future here, hopefully we have albino kois and bulgarian kois so that's the plan for now um, and also the same exact replicas of these guys <laughs> so three different projects going on here hopefully i make it guys all right guys thanks for checking out my video all the way to the very end here these two are definitely taunting me here and man i think that <laughs> i'm hoping it's sooner than later they definitely like the lights off the light on they're just like all over the floor just like what you guys saw but if the lights are turned off they're much higher level of the tank here and they tend to explore a little bit more here so if you guys do like my contents go ahead and subscribe to my channel here at the end of our journey once we reach our 1000 subscriber mark we will be giving a free giveaway here and it is not a product or anything it's not a heater not a filter however it is something that we produce here in the fish room so if you guys do like that stuff go ahead and subscribe all right guys that's it for today's video enough of my rambling on um, let me know comment down below and uh, let me know what kind of contents you guys like so that I can create those kind of videos for you guys um, I know you guys like to know what's going on in the fish room but I'm slowly working on it the next video I'll definitely show what's going on in the fish room and definitely show what's going to be available soon very excited for that so stay tuned guys I'll see you guys on the next video